We have a major medical breakthrough to tell you about this morning. It's out of Ontario. For the first time, researchers are using artificial intelligence, AI, to help identify rare genetic disorders in children. With more, I want to bring in CTV's Renee Rogers. Renee, good morning. Tell us about the details uh, around this research and the patient it's helped. Hi, yes, Marcia, good morning. Uh, well, this is being called uh, what is believed to be a world first. Uh, and essentially, uh, as you say, researchers at the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario, or CHEO, are harnessing the power of AI to help diagnose children and youth with rare disorders that they may have not been diagnosed with uh, before this technology. So uh, what is, it essentially is, is researchers have developed an algorithm uh, that they call Think Rare. And this algorithm basically goes through all of the electronic health records at the hospital. There are hundreds of thousands of them. And it flags children who could potentially have an undiagnosed rare genetic disease. That child is then referred for genetic testing. Now, one of these children is a little boy. He's 10 years old. His name is Anthony Wistaff. He was flagged and then subsequently diagnosed after genetic testing with something called Chung Jansen syndrome. This is a game changer, his parents say. He had been in and out of hospital his whole life. That includes 100 outpatient appointments and 30 visits to the ER for various reasons. They did not have a clear diagnosis. They now do. And his father says it's been a game changer. Take a listen. We were able to actually assist him with even more help because this research brought a report and this report was brought to the school where the school was able to get more funding to help our son fully establish himself as a full student with all the knowledge and all this technology he's able to have. So, uh, Marcia, as you heard there, uh, really has opened up a lot of uh, opportunities to uh, get their child the help they need with this new diagnosis. So what could this mean for the future of diagnosing patients, Renee? Well, uh, it's very exciting, the hospital says. So, uh, well, it says it won't replace doctors. What it will do is hopefully make these diagnoses more early for children so that they're able to get on a path of medical care uh, to help that child rather than be ping-ponged around the medical system just like Anthony was and uh, apparently a lot of uh, children are who are, are undiagnosed. So uh, this is also very interesting too, Marcia, because it's in Ottawa right now, but this hospital says they have no plans on monetizing this and they plan to give the technology to anyone who wants it, any hospital that wants it for free. So you could very well be seeing this much more widespread across Canada and even around the world. Renee, thank you.